Researchers using MRI imaging have gone from studying people's brains to identifying specific thoughts. I think our work presents a non-invasive way of reading people's minds as they're thinking of common objects. Carnegie Mellon's Marcel Just and Tom Mitchell scanned the brains of people who looked at sets of images of objects, like tools or homes. The experts could see differences in the scans when people were thinking about a hammer versus a house, but it took a computer to distinguish scans of similar objects, like a hammer versus a screwdriver. They reported in the journal PLOS One that once the program learned these subtle differences from a group of people's brains, it could accurately tell which of ten similar objects a new volunteer was thinking of. Our brains have a similar enough organization that we can use the patterns of activation from my brain to try to decode yours. They say in theory that means non-invasive mind reading is possible, but could it also be used to invade our privacy? We're able to have the computer answer a 10 wise multiple choice test. What we don't yet have, that's, that's still a far cry from being able to have the computer determine whatever you're thinking. It's a, you know, I don't know, like a three-ton machine, and, <laughs> and we're not going to be doing this in shopping malls tomorrow. Still, they say it's not too soon to start talking about the ethics of these technologies. I'm Brad Closa.